Yo, 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 what up, world? You already know who it is. It's your boy, man. Um, This right here is going to make a lot of y'all upset. I mean, if you come and think about it. Uh, it's these designer bags, man, and designer clothes that everyone loves to wear. And one of them is one of my favorite, which is Gucci. I love Gucci everything. Those are my two favorite colors, red and green, man. It's, it's pitiful uh, how much they make the bags we have them produced for and what they pay for it versus what they're selling it. Uh, the markup is times 100 or 200, uh, some crazy number that you, you're going to be super mad about. And the quality isn't the quality that they were promising. Um, this is a tough one uh, for y'all to swallow. Uh, I hope this one go viral too so everybody can see what, what they're wearing is not really what they're wearing. And... Um, you better all wear some regular clothes. I mean, if you want to spend the money on some fake shit, then that's on you. Excuse my language, but, um, yeah, that's the run-up. Um, it's a lot of fake stuff going on. It's not no, it's just New York or places that be selling the bootleg stuff. Nah, man. The whole company is, probably all of them might go down for this, um, allegedly. Uh, I'll let y'all see the clip. Y'all stay tuned. Give y'all some more stuff and more updates. Like, subscribe, share the videos, man. I appreciate all the love. I got a lot of content for y'all, man. And uh, y'all stay tuned. Peace. Clothing so brands ripping account people account off. The or pays only $57 to produce luxury bags that sell for $2,780. Italian prosecutors investigated the factories of Dior and Armani, and this is what they found. Unsafe working conditions and illegal workers. But more importantly, they stumbled upon a crucial piece of information. Dior pays its suppliers $57 to make a bag. $57. That's around 5,000 in rupees for one bag. That's what it costs Dior, $57. Do you know how much they sell it for? Around $2,800. That's nearly 2.6 lakh Indian rupees, which is 50 times the cost of making. What explains this stupendous price markup? Are you paying for quality handbags or are you paying for the brand? The revelation has triggered a whole new debate about luxury handbags. Here's a report. Do you have a Dior bag on your wish list? Maybe the book tote or the classic Lady Dior. But here's something you should know before you buy it. Dior pays its suppliers $57 per handbag. How much do they sell them for? A whopping $2,800. That's almost 50 times more. Even if you consider the price of leather, it won't be any better. This was revealed in a sweeping investigation by Italian prosecutors. They looked into Dior's third-party suppliers, and here's what they found. The luxury brand exploited workers. It did not check working conditions of its contracting employees. In one facility, workers were found sleeping inside. Why? So that bags could be produced around the clock. Most of these workers were from China. Some of them were living in Italy illegally. Plus, safety rules were regularly exploited. In these factories, safety devices for gluing the bags were removed so that the workers could operate them faster. But it's not just Dior who's guilty of this, so is Armani. Armani paid its contractors $99 for a bag. And how much did they sell it for? almost $1,900. Now, both these companies are under scrutiny. They have been placed under judicial administration for a year. But it's not just a Dior or Armani phenomenon. This is happening across the fashion industry. Violating labor laws is a staple for luxury giants. They do it to make more money. People are mistreated, rules are flouted, there are no safety precautions. And those Italian leather handbags that you're so proud of are most probably made in China. So what then justifies the ridiculous cost? Well, there are a few reasons, and none of it is linked to superior quality. One is the brand reputation. The bigger the name, the more the number of zeros on the price tag. Think Dior, Hermes and Chanel. Then comes scarcity, and it's a great marketing tactic. The lesser goods you produce, the higher the price. You create a situation where these bags are not easily accessible, so consumers will do anything to buy them. 
So you're not just paying for the bag, but for the brand name and the status that comes with it. It all comes down to human psychology. A luxury good is a non-essential product. Consumers can live without them. But the satisfaction of owning a luxury good is a motivator. Luxury goods are often attached to a sense of accomplishment, a feeling that you have made it in life, and that's why people scramble to get a hold of them. But consumers err in thinking that a higher price means better quality. That's almost never the case. It's no secret that luxury handbags are overpriced. Almost a five-time markup is common. This is used to cover the operational costs. But inflating the price by 50 times is daylight robbery. Luxury brands are preying on people's sense of insecurity and need for social validation. You may be thinking you're paying for premium leather and craftsmanship, but actually, you're paying for the glitzy... Do you guys produce for diesel? Yeah. What's the MOQ for something like this? 500. 500 pieces. Yeah. Could you do a little bit lower, special for me? Pricing will be very high. Price will be very high, but price is high is okay. And what's the cost if I want to do 500 of this? For 500, right? 500 pieces. $22? Yeah. And what about if I want to do 200 pieces? 50 upcharge. 50 percent upcharge? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I see I see you guys are also doing some stuff here for scotch and soda. Yeah. We do lots of scotch soda. With the embroidery? Yeah. So what would something like this cost? How many pieces? 300, let's say. This is special washing, maybe this one. Wait, 29. 29? Yeah. Oh, wow. How much does something like this cost? Maybe 20, 26. 26. Yeah. Wow, this is like no other name card I've ever seen because it's actually <laughs> folded. Yeah. That's the name card. But who you're really going to want to contact here is Hannah. And